understand this equation, and you can solve almost any conservation of energy question. Uh, let me guide you carefully through one situation here. Imagine a block sitting on an incline. And this is our starting point, our initial condition. There's no friction, and it starts from rest, slides all the way down the incline to the bottom. And that'll be the final condition. Energy must be conserved. So at the beginning, is there any external work being done in this system? No, there is not. So we do not include that in the equation. It starts from rest. There isn't any initial kinetic energy. I look at this and I find that at the bottom, the, the potential energy is zero. Therefore, that is not a part of the equation. There's no friction, therefore no work against friction. Both those go. We have the equation. The initial potential energy equals the final kinetic energy. Now, let's take a look at the next example. I'll set it up and then you'll try it in your own. Here's the equation. And so we have an initial state where the block, there's no friction, but now it has an initial velocity and then travels down the incline. So hit pause and find the equation that works for this situation. All right, in this situation, there isn't any external work being added to this situation. So we don't need it in the equation. There is initial kinetic energy there is an initial potential energy, but the potential at the end is zero, and there's no friction, therefore no work against friction. The total energy at the beginning is the kinetic plus the potential. All of that is converted into kinetic final. All right, let me set up another one for you. In this particular situation, we have a block on an incline, and it's going to roll down the incline again, or slide down. There's friction, and it starts with an initial velocity. So once again, hit pause and find the equation for this situation. All right, let's look at this. There isn't any external work being done, so we don't need that. There's definitely an initial kinetic energy and potential. There's friction, so there's work against friction. The uh, kinetic energy is increasing, so there's a final kinetic energy, but the potential final is zero. And so that is not needed in this equation. And so the total energy, kinetic plus potential, equals final kinetic plus work done against friction. All right, let me set up another one. Here's the uh, in general equation, and we have a block on an incline, and it rolls down. Now, the bottom will be our zero reference. There's zero potential energy. And this time, we want the final state to be a little bit up the incline. We want to know what the final energy state is right where that arrow is pointing. So. There's no friction, starts with an initial velocity, hit pause and find the equation for this situation. All right, <clears throat> again, there isn't any external work being done, so we don't need that. But there is kinetic and potential at the beginning, and there's kinetic and potential at the end. And there is no friction, so there isn't any work against friction. So the energy is conserved. The initial kinetic plus potential is converted to the final kinetic plus potential. 